Here's your wrestling news for September 15th, 2021. And your headlines for today include lots of backstage notes regarding tonight's episode of WWE NXT 2.0. Who was managing NXT 2.0 backstage? Was Vince McMahon involved? Script for NXT 2.0 ripped up multiple times. What worked and hasn't during the show? Ex-Titan game star Ivy Nile debuts on NXT 2.0. Multiple NXT superstars are worried. What happened after NXT 2.0 went off air? Shocking news concerning Samoa Joe's absence from WWE TV. Identity of WWE NXT's new Mafia wrestler character revealed, and more. We are kicking off today with NXT 2.0's debut episode, and despite the great action on screen, things were far from fine backstage. Mike Johnson of PW Insider reports that Kevin Dunn was backstage overseeing production after previously keeping his distance from the show. One massive thing that has set NXT apart from the main roster's production is the camera work, which will likely no longer be the case moving forward. Johnson added that just like Raw and SmackDown, the script for NXT had changed a ton of times throughout the day of the show, something that is common for the main roster, but the NXT roster won't be used to. It's been previously reported that NXT will be a Vince McMahon and Bruce Prichard production going forward, and tearing up the script the day of a show is a hallmark of these two WWE executives. Talent who spoke to Johnson called the backstage atmosphere weird, which isn't a good sign for the future. It's also been reported that going forward, the terms NXT 2.0 and the home of NXT will be the big terms used, and that everything will be described by these names from now on. A lot happened backstage for the first episode of NXT 2.0, and we'll have to see how the roster and production team fare in this new era for the show. Last night's NXT was all about a fresh start for NXT, and that included getting rid of some old tropes from the previous version of the show. PW Insider reports that from now on, the location of NXT will no longer be called the Capital Wrestling Center, a name that debuted last year, and the venue, which is actually the Performance Center, will just be called NXT on TV. The Capital Wrestling Center name was in reference to the territory that Vince McMahon Sr. ran back in the day, and although odds are that some fans will keep referring to the location by that name, it'll no longer be used in any capacity. Despite the chaos backstage, the superstars of NXT were able to put on a great show, but it's not just the production and look of the developmental brand that are getting a change. PW Insider reports that WWE switched up the call times for superstars to arrive at the building for last night's show, meaning talent had to arrive earlier than usual. This is because it was the first live NXT in several weeks, and they had a lot to get through, including pre-tapes, but it wasn't noted just when exactly the roster had to show up. It's also unclear if this earlier call time will continue going forward, as superstars may have to change their schedules dramatically to make it to NXT 2.0. NXT will continue on as a live show, at least throughout the month of September, and for last night's massive event, WWE wanted everyone on the show to be extra early to get things right. WWE is all in on this new start for NXT, and even Twitter have rolled out a new logo for the show. Now, fans who use the WWE NXT hashtag won't see the brand's old gold logo next to the term, but the new Paint Splash logo for NXT 2.0. This will no doubt be a permanent change as the NXT 2.0 name is here to stay, and fans who don't like the redesign will just have to live with the new logo. WWE took the opportunity to debut a few new superstars on last night's premiere of NXT 2.0, including a new member of the Diamond Mine. During the show, Ivy Nile was introduced as the newest member, and fans may recognize her under her real name, Emily Anzulis, as she was part of The Rock's Titan Games. Nile didn't have a match, but Malcolm Bivens really talked her up on the mic in what was a big addition to the Diamond Mind and NXT television. Ivy Nile, like the rest of the NXT roster, will now be answering to Vince McMahon, who is now in charge of the show alongside Bruce Prichard. McMahon may have the final say, but he hasn't been at NXT since July, and he wasn't present at the most recent set of tapings. Ringside News reports that with Kevin Dunn there, there was no need for McMahon, as Dunn is 100% a Vince McMahon guy. 
The report adds that McMahon reviewed the show with Ed Koski, but it's too early to tell if this will be the new weekly system or if this is still a work in progress. Although Koski reviewed the show's script with the boss, it's noted that no main writers were used to create the script for NXT 2.0. One source said they don't know if this review by Koski and McMahon was a one-week thing or how it'll be, and it's not known how much input the chairman had over the show. All we know for sure is that McMahon reviewed the script with a longtime main roster writer, and even though he wasn't there in person, this alone is a huge departure from how NXT ran just a few months ago. More from NXT next, as the show saw the wedding of Indy Hartwell and Dexter Loomis, and it's a staple of wrestling that weddings never end well. There is always some kind of swerve that ends the ceremony, but this time the swerve was that the wedding actually happened relatively smoothly. Austin Theory made his NXT return on the show, and even brought a priest for the ceremony, namely Raw's US Champion and NXT alum Damian Priest. The ceremony itself had a number of fun moments with many superstars serving as guests, and Johnny Gargano was particularly entertaining, unintentionally disrupting the proceedings. When every superstar in attendance objected, Loomis flashed an axe before locking the priest in his submission move in what'll be a warning to any member of the clergy who ever thinks of officiating a wrestling wedding. Beth Phoenix stepped in to finish the ceremony, and Loomis ended things by saying his first words in NXT, I do. Now he and Indy are married and the way are united in what has to be considered one of the greatest weddings in WWE history. NXT 2.0 was a night of fresh starts, but the arguable highlight came from an old favorite of the show. In the main event, Tommaso Ciampa became a two-time NXT champion, defeating Pete Dunne, LA Knight, and Von Wagner, who replaced Kyle O'Reilly. Champa's title win comes two and a half years after he was forced to vacate the gold, and many consider the Blackheart the greatest heel NXT champion of all time. It certainly seems like Champa is heading back to his wicked ways, as he was visibly disgusted by the Index wedding, which headlined the show over his title win, and it'll now be Champa who leads NXT 2.0 in these unprecedented times. Last night's NXT began a new era for the brand, but not everything planned for the show made it to the card. Last night's episode was meant to see an NXT Women's Championship match between Raquel Gonzalez and Frankie Monet, but that match didn't happen. Fightful were the first to report that the match was off prior to the show, saying the WWE were aware of the change of plans as of Monday morning. There's been no explanation as to why this match didn't go ahead, and we'll have to see when this match eventually happens. This is certainly an interesting start for the new era of NXT, which has had to go ahead without the brand's longtime leader, Triple H. Earlier this month, the game suffered a cardiac event which required a procedure to correct, and all that's known at this time is that he's resting at home from this genetic condition. That means NXT 2.0 had start without him at the Capitol Wrestling Center, and understandably, several superstars are on edge right now, as PW Insider reports, the fact that Paul Levesque will not be in today's taping due to his recent medical emergency has raised concern as there's a feeling among some talent that they won't know what they are walking into today and don't even know if it's going to be Levesque's regular team running the taping or others from WWE. Their report adds that there was a great sense of unease among talent, not just for last night's show, but for the future of NXT, which will be a Vince McMahon and Bruce Prichard production going forward. Little is known about tonight's show other than the redesign and the promise of a new NXT champion being crowned, but the roster aren't comfortable with ushering in this new era without the King of Kings. NXT 2.0 was an entertaining if not chaotic night for the show, but the action didn't end when the cameras stopped rolling. In a post-show segment for the live crowd, Johnny Gargano took the mic and talked up the future of the brand, praising the locker room, and Candice LeRae and Cameron Grimes also joined in. WWE Hall of Famer and assistant coach Shawn Michaels also dropped by to deliver a signature DX crotch chop in what was an epic moment for the crowd. Tommaso Ciampa was also photographed after the show, holding the NXT title and his daughter, calling them the two most important women in his life. Wearing wrist tape with the number 908 written on it, the amount of days he was without the NXT title, the future is still unclear for NXT 2.0, but the roster are determined to make it a success.
NXT 2.0 had to go ahead without Samoa Joe, as the three-time former NXT champion recently vacated the title due to injury. At least, that's what WWE are claiming, but given the timing of the injury and the vague details around it, not everyone is buying this claim. On Wrestling Observer Live, Brian Alvarez stated that there's a belief in NXT that Joe isn't actually injured and that he simply might not be able to wrestle, as he's being kept in his other responsibilities, such as being a talent scout for the show. Alvarez added that this alleged injury may have just been a way to make the debut episode of NXT 2.0 more exciting, claiming, I've heard from a third person who does strongly believe that this whole thing is a work to get the title off of him to do a championship tonight. It's also interesting that Joe's injury that forced him to vacate the title is apparently minor, as PW Insider reports that he's not expected to be out for long. Their report adds that the decision to strip Joe of the title was not done by creative, but that WWE are being honest with their claim, saying WWE's medical team made the call that he's injured. Whatever the reason, Samoa Joe is no longer NXT champion, and we'll have to see how sudden he can return from this mysterious injury. Samoa Joe won't be on NXT 2.0 for the time being, but last night's episode saw a vignette air for a new character named Tony D'Angelo. A Mafia-style character, D'Angelo will be played by former NCAA wrestler Joe Ariola, who signed with WWE in their February Performance Center class. An undefeated state and national champion in high school, D'Angelo has the pedigree to be a big star in NXT, and the University of Buffalo alum is planning to make the real money as part of WWE's show. And we're ending with some news from Raw, which this week saw the mind games between Alexa Bliss and Charlotte Flair continue, with Bliss debuting a new demonic doll designed after the Raw Women's Champion. Nicknamed Charlie, Flair wasted no time disposing of her plush counterpart, but fans can now get a Charlie of their own. Replicas of the Charlie doll are already available on WWEShop.com, and it goes to show that the company always plans their marketing well in advance. Flair may not have liked Charlie, but we're sure countless fans did, and for $40, they can add a second creepy doll to their collection next to Lily. Well guys, that's our news for today. Please share your comments below. Also hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to receive all notifications. And as always, thanks for watching.